Hi everybody, the following few minutes is a mashup of video clips taken from one of my live theatre shows. This one was called Unexpected Tales, and I've got to tell you, it was all very unexpected. Hope you enjoy. I got to Lumley Castle. I hadn't touched a drop of alcohol. That's my agency. Do not tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never work again. Yes, by the bathroom. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't ask you to stand up, but never mind. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this? This is your life, also. Yeah. Do you want to come down here and take over? Yeah. Go on. Bearing in mind, I gave up strictly coming down to see you <laughs> To come and see you. Oh, um, I have a question. Go on. Um, what's the most profit you've ever made on an item that you've bought and sold? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, I can tell you. The most I've ever sold an item for was a very unusual item, and you might be surprised to hear that it was not an antique. How much do you think, sir, the BBC were paying me on an hourly basis? Go on, be careful. Slightly above minimum wage. He rates me highly, doesn't he? What do you reckon? 1999. We're not in shillings and uh, these, you know. Yeah. Take your time, we've got till Tuesday, for God's sake. Yeah. I didn't ask you. Yeah. And oh my God, after all that, who is it? A thousand. I should have been on a thousand. My name is Bernard Periotampe. Well, oh, hello Bernard. He said, hello darling. Oh, oh my God. Sir, <laughs> so, have you ever been called darling by a man before? Well, you have now, darling. <laughs> hey, how's it feel? Tell the truth. It feels all right, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. You'll be thinking about this at three o'clock in the morning, but oh my God, what is happening to my life? It's true. So thank Who asked that question? Matter of the back. Oh, what are you? I've only got three choices. What are you? Eat up, Jack. I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, I do. I, do. I have painted an Eat Jack for the Haynes International Motor Museum down in Somerset. So I have that on greeting cards, so if you really want one, you can buy one from my website. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, you're going to get a V8 Chevy, you're all right. <laughs> Round of applause, well done. <laughs> That's yours, if you're going you to ask questions. You can ask anything, we can talk about anything. We can talk about <laughs> personal problems, man. <laughs> Seriously, with a guy wearing a 1975 suit, you've got some problems, right? We, we're all friends here tonight, we can share, right? Anything. You want to know about Tim Wanakop? Is he having an affair with Anita Money? You just ask me. Right? And self promotion is a good thing, you have to do that. When I first started promoting on Facebook and Twitter this show, Unexpected Tales, I can tell you, I got some unexpected comments <laughs> from people who I didn't realise hated me so much <laughs> they went to extreme lengths to write beastly things about me. Are you on Facebook, sir? Well, I wouldn't with that face, honestly. The things they'll <laughs> say about you. Yeah. I know. Can you believe it, madam? I look even better than this, then. Make it. Oh, okay. What would you like me to do? Now, at the time, I had kind of bouffant hair, a bit like yours, so bouffant, right? But it was thinning, but I was trying to disguise it. Now, ladies, you'll know what I was doing. I was scrunch drying it and hairspraying it. I was about four inches taller in those days, right? Up here. Now, what I didn't realise, when you stand under light, you can see right through the hair. Now, Bernard had spotted this and he didn't like it. He said, shave your hair. But it is fabulous to be in Helmsley. Is Helmsley just the nicest market town on the planet? Yes! yes. It is! Yes. I mean, I say that wherever I go, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I actually genuinely believe it. I believe it. And I thought it was my wife because I spent a lot of time on the road. Well, if I'm honest, because she's not here, right? She's, she's not supportive at all. However, my girlfriend, she's very... <laughs> No, I must say, my wife is long-suffering and long-understanding. So, no, she's brilliant. Actually, she'd normally, she would normally be here tonight. 
And if, if the audience aren't great, you are great, I then pick on her. It's great, it's brilliant. So I say, my wife's here tonight, and I just tell funny stories about her. And she thinks the ladies are going crazy already. You are a bunch of intellectuals, because Nick Robinson is known as the thinking woman's hot toddy. Hey, he is. Well, so he told me, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Madam in the purple. I've just taken you back to your youth, haven't I? <laughs> Jimmy Osmond was there. He was leaning against the railing. I said, Jimmy. He said, David, he recognised me. He watches Bargain Hunt. <laughs> Admittedly, he's not working much these days, but he watches it. Right? So he watches the show. The reason I'm here tonight, the reason you're here tonight, of course, is because of the power of television. Mm. Television is remarkably powerful, but have you ever wondered how on earth people get into TV? You're wondering how the hell did he get to TV on television? <laughs> you are, I can see. I can see, I can read my love it. You know why I love it, sir? Because I love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> now, I made the mistake of telling Christina Trevanion this year, didn't you, Christina Trevanion? Yes. We were doing an event together. <clears throat> and I said to Christina Trevanion about this, I love the sound of my own voice. I was making a joke of it. The following day, she introduces me onto the stage and she says, and welcome David Harper. By the way, he loves the sound of his own voice. <laughs> and the audience went, you mentioned this. John Barrowman in the plate glass windows was doing this. Ooh, ooh, baby, like this, rear of the year, rear of the year, right? Mucking about like this. Now, we didn't know that there was CCTV there around this area and a CCTV operator at 7 a.m. on a Sunday with nothing else to do but watch us. He called the police, <laughs> right? Bearing in mind we've got a pink convertible VW and the AC Cobra film crews, he thought we were making a porn movie. Yeah. That's what he thought. He sold in a charity auction only a couple of weeks ago at the end Leeds at a charity event, two of my tickets to <coughs> any future show. I sold them for four hundred and fifty pounds. I know, that's what they're worth. That's why <laughs> so you lot are all in profit. If you hadn't come tonight, you could have sold them for four hundred and fifty quid for two. You've missed a trick. Admittedly, the person that bought them was completely comatose, drunk. <laughs> but it didn't bother me. I took the bits, right? Ah, well, that's it. The video mashup of one of my shows is done. Hope you enjoyed that. I've got to tell you, I absolutely adore those shows. They're such a thrill. So, um, listen, more importantly, I hope you're going to come along to one of my shows sometime in the future. And here on YouTube, please do subscribe and follow my videos. And also let me know if there are any video topics you want me to have a go at. If it's of interest to you, it's no doubt of interest to me. Thanks again and see you soon.